Hi guys, I'm back. So, got everything cleaned up. I uh, don't think I need new gloves. They'll just get dirty again, so. Um, what I'm going to do is put the colors in here. Of course, I'm going to start off with a little bit of white because um, it's the most dense color. So I'm hoping that it'll help create a little bit of the cells. But straight after that, I'm going for the uh, really beautiful Prussian blue. I want to keep a little because I don't want to put it all in at once. Then a little bit of green. And some I'm going to just pour in from high like you used to for me because that makes it sort of mix uh, sort of by itself. So a little bit low, a little bit low, a little bit low, a little bit from up high. That's that color. Then of course some more blue. And some beautiful other color blue. Because we're going for a sort of an ocean theme. Like that. And I am going to do a little bit of brown. Just a little bit. Because I'm hoping it'll give a little bit of a muted color to the uh, to the other colors. So that's that. Then some more blue. And I really think we have enough color as it is, but I don't want to waste paint. So I'll give it a little bit more. Empty out all the cups. the green which we almost forgot and I kind of like what it's the, the brown is doing so I might just put in a little bit more gives it a little bit of an earthy color but that's it no more than that now we're going to do a flip like that. I'm not going to use uh, a support. So what I'm going to do is do it as fast as I can. And even if some, some pops out, we don't care. That's it. Now the white. Because I do want a little bit of a negative space because it always looks so cool. And this time I am a better prepared because I have also made a Andy Drop Corner Catcher with cling wrap. Where is it? There it is. See I made a, it's just a piece of cardboard and I put cling wrap on it. That way I can do the corners so no, not a, a lot of that paint is going to fall off. So let's do it. That's number one. And that's number two. Ooh, yeah. This is what I thought would happen. See how, how the brown sort of just, you know, gets into it? And I sort of like this. It's darker than my usual four cup flips. And I'm not going to really torch it right now. I'm going to wait a little bit because I'm going to try and save a lot of paint. Got to do it fast though because, um, you know, the paint is a little thinner than usual. And what happens is then the silicone already is to the top before we are ready to torch. There it goes. Wow, this is already looking really, really, really cool. Okay, I am totally covered in paint, but 
goes with the profession, right? Okay, here we go. I like this bit, and I was sure it was going to produce some beautiful cells. And this bit. And here I'm going to hold it just a little higher. And of course, I'm going to go all around because I really like the cells coming down the sides. And that's it. Look at those cells. They are gorgeous. I'm not too fond of that big dark blob in the middle, but you know how it goes. Look at that. That, that is beautiful. I love this one. Look at that. And that's a lot of cells. Look at that. Wow, that, oh man, this one is really, this, this is one of my favorites because of the color. Um, now what I want to do, I am going to do something to that and to that and to that because I just cannot stand it. So, ooh, how am I going to do this? Let's see. Because I would like to just not make it that obvious that's sort of because it stands out too much if you know what I mean and I'm uh, that's so wet look at my arm it's dripping all over the place it's in my clothes but these are my paint clothes, so it's okay. That kind of looks okay. This one is okay, but this one I don't like. That little one next to it, that one. So I'm going to see if I can get some paint and put it in there and need some lighter colors whoops don't want to spill on the good stuff nope that's not working so let me get some white should i do white yeah i think it could match now that that makes it a little less obvious as you can see but i I'm thinking that I'd like to do something to it and then torch it in the hopes that it will sell a little. Like that. That one too. Nope, not selling. That one is. So this one sort of fixed itself that's okay and this one didn't so I'm gonna try and do something to make it look better mm, yeah because you know you're really on top of it and that makes it look um, sometimes it, it sort of gets in the way of your judgment if you take a step back then it looks more like it belongs there. So um, I really, really am into these colors. 
I'll show you one more time the, uh, the definition of the cells, which I really like. Look at that. Is that beautiful? It really is. I just love it. And of course you'll be looking at it from a distance like this. Even further away than that. So I know some of you are going to kill me, but I got to put a little bit, just a tiny bit of glitter on it. And I'm talking a really little bit. What I like is that when you walk by, if you have this hanging on your wall and you walk by, here and there it'll just catch a little bit of light and show you something pretty. And I'm talking really minimal, minimal glitter. A little bit there, especially here. That was really a little bit. There we go. That's more than enough. A little bit there. A little up there. that's it no more than that see it's only a tiny tiny little bit and you it, it'll catch your attention if you walk by it I don't want the whole thing glittery this is more than I want that's it so as we were talking you can see that the um, the colors are sinking through the white and up here you can see stuff happening and what I'd really like to do but I'm not going to I'm, I, I promise I won't but I'd like to connect everything. Do you know what I mean? You know, with like with a stick and then pull it and pull it back, pull it, pull it back. Like there's a little ladder going going through there, or like a corset, you know, where the strings go through. I'm sort of a freak when it comes to that sort of stuff because I really love doing that. I have a lot of drawings where I did that with a, a really thin pen. I might look for them one of the only one. I could show you guys something I did when I about 10 years back I did a lot of abstract stuff I'll, I'll, I'll look for that I'll show you that tomorrow but um, this is uh, for me this is beautiful I'm really really happy with it I think uh, the colors especially where I put in the brown I think it added to the colors because it made it just a little bit more earthy and um, this is just a little bit more different than the ones I usually do, the four cup flips with all the blues and the greens. The brown gives it just a little bit more of a, um, of a earthy look. So thanks all for watching again, popping this one on YouTube. And um, I'm going to be making some uh, tomorrow to do during the week. So you got three today from me and tomorrow I'll be working on the ones one I'll do tomorrow, but the rest I'll do for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay? Okay. Love you all to pieces. Really, really appreciate all the support I'm getting from everyone. So, liebe euch alle. Love you all to pieces. See you in the next video. Make some beautiful art. And see ya. Bye-bye.